What's up everyone, Hero in, and welcome to the Final Spider-Man channel. Now before I begin anything, I would first like to dedicate this time by thanking you all for the support that you have given me. I appreciate the likes, views, comments, and shares on my playthrough videos, and I'm most grateful for your advice, feedback, suggestions, and tips. Without you, I would not have made it this far, so please continue to follow and enjoy the videos. Now I know that most of my content is about playthroughs of Spyro, Resident Evil, and the most recent game, The Last of Us Part 2. And don't worry everyone, this video is still related to gaming. And for this video, I'm going to be doing something a little different, and before I show you what it is, let me tell you a little story about me and my mouse. So this mouse has been through a lot with me. This bad boy is 9 years old, and back then, I didn't even use it for gaming. Heck, I didn't even use it for Minesweeper at all. And when I tested this out with Valorant, Smite, or even Paladins, this mouse was a beast. And I kid you not, this mouse may be old, but it's very, very powerful. However, unfortunately, it was time to get serious, and I need a new gaming mouse. So I've been googling around the dark and light webs and researching what gaming mouse would be beneficial for me, not just for overall gaming, but also to check if it's versatile, flexible, and to top it all off, it had to be at a reasonable price. And for this video, I'll be doing a little, little small unboxing of my new gaming mouse, the Red Dragon M913. There's a lot that this mouse had that was just screaming for me to get it. And I can tell you that there was key factors as to why I decided to buy this gaming mouse out of all the other options that I saw online. And with all that said, let's get to it. So again, there were a few reasons as to why I chose this mouse, and the first one is flexibility. So you have two options on how to use the mouse, and that is by either using a wireless USB or using the wired dongle that came with the mouse. If the Redragon was to lose battery life, or if you want to switch to a wired gaming experience, go for the USB-C dongle, connect it to your computer, boom, wired gaming experience. Second one is the programmable buttons. We have a total of 12 buttons on the side, and I can bet you that when it comes to other MMOs that I'm planning on playing, I will be taking advantage of all of them. And on top of that, because I'm a programmer on the side, I want to also set up macros for hotkeys. Not only will that help me with the programming, but it will also help me with content and video editing on the side. Letter C, and lastly, the price. Honestly, I'm on a budget like any other gamer out there. And whoever wants to start streaming or editing or just wants to start gaming in general, I feel like this is a good mouse for you to start off with. Honestly, I don't think I see myself upgrading anytime soon because this is literally the perfect college budget gaming mouse for the price. It starts off at $50, but if you use a code that the Redragon has on their website, then you can get a 5% discount on the mouse, which left me with the price of $45. By the way, guys, this video is not sponsored by Redragon. The discount was just something I saw on their website, and I just wanted to throw it out there for you guys. And that will wrap it up for this unboxing, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like and a comment. Obviously, your feedback is greatly appreciated. Share this with your friends, family, gamer fans, and talking pets and plants. And do let me know what you guys thought of this. Do you guys want more of these unboxing gaming videos, or should I just stick to playthroughs? Let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you for Streamers Collide this Sunday.